Kerbal Space Program 2 has just received the biggest update it's gotten since its initial release into early access. And it's actually like a game now instead of a glorified tech demo. They've added a career mode where you gather science by doing science experiments and missions, and these will unlock you new parts so you can go further into the system and explore new things. Along with that, they've also fixed a ton of bugs and the whole wobbly rocket thing that people were complaining about is fixed now. It seems like KSP2 is finally crawling out of the hole they dug themselves in on that rocky launch, and the Steam reviews seem to show that too. I'm very, very excited to try out this new update and see how the game is different and better, and hopefully we can make this a series on the channel. So today we are going to be starting a brand new space agency in Kerbal Space Program 2 with one goal in mind, to gather as much science as possible and to create the stupidest but functional rockets. The goal for this video is to make a rocket that launches from Kerbin and lands on the MUN, which is the Kerbal Space Program equivalent of the moon. Ideally, we would make the lander return, but with my Kerbal Space Program skills, I think that is unlikely. I will try my hardest, however. Now let's get into the game. All right, here we are. Let's open this up and we are going to start a new campaign. Now, instead of just the sandbox mode that we used to have, there's an exploration mode. So we're definitely gonna be using this agency name. I think that perfectly encapsulates what we're trying to do with this. Let's go purple and white as our agency colors. Okay, here we go, let's load in. So what is new is this research and development building. So you can see if we open this, we have this skill tree. So to land on the MUN, we're gonna need this one. To start this, here's what I'm thinking. We need to go to the mission control and they will give us missions to do. Launch a rocket is the very first mission and you can see doing this will give us 25 science. And then we can use those science points in the skill tree to unlock so our next one costs 10 so all we have to do is launch a rocket and we will unlock all of these parts so let's do that our only goal is to launch a rocket 100 meters up i think is what it said um so we're just going to make a little tiny jumper rocket okay bill kerman is here on our first rocket launch and this should get us the science we need for that next stage very, very quick launch. It's a super light rocket, so there, it has no problem going up. Look at those frames, though. That's actually running super smooth. How high are we supposed to go? Science reward. I got it. Okay. Okay, we got it. So now what we got to do is go back down. So we'll stage this out. And if we open the parachute, will it actually start slowing me down? Because we're going very fast. We're coming down pretty quick, but the parachute should save us here. There we go. Straight up, straight down. Perfect landing. And now in mission control, we have successfully achieved our first mission. Okay, mission completed, 25 science. What's our next mission? Out of the atmosphere, launch a rocket from Kerbin and achieve an altitude greater than 70 kilometers. Okay, that one still is not too bad. So now if we go to the research and development building, we can spend our science, here's our science, 25, 10 to get our light launchers. Let's do that. So then all of these cost some too. Okay, aerodynamics will probably be good. We need some fins on our rocket. So I'm gonna do this one too. So if we're gonna land on the MUN, we definitely need this one. So we need to get over there. But for now, we're gonna go for this mission. We're gonna launch a rocket from Kerbin and achieve an altitude greater than 70. Okay, here's a little rocket I built. I think this is all I need to do it. Okay, we're just gonna go straight up because we don't need to get in orbit. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna launch this straight up and we'll see if this works. Okay, I actually don't wanna launch too high because then it'll take forever to come down. So once this is above 70,000 meters, we know we've gone high enough. 70, can okay, cut the engines. And you can see we're going straight up and we're definitely getting into space. You can start to see the curve of curb in here. That's our goal. There it is. The MUN. We're going there later. We will get there. Oh, we have a science tab. Okay. And oh, we got it. Okay. So we got the thing. We got high enough. So here's this science tab experiment. Yeah. Okay. So these are experiments that will get us extra science. Um, but for now, we can seriously just break this off and wait till we get down. We're going so fast. Okay, okay, the shoot work. Looks like I'm gonna land in a tree. Okay, we'll see how this tree landing goes. Does the parachute get caught or does anything happen at all? Or we go straight through it? Straight through it, okay, I mean that works. Okay, so we completed the out of the atmosphere mission. 50 science for that, that's a lot, let's go. I'm sure our next one is going to be orbit. Yes, you can see right here, Orbit Kerbin, and we have another one that has something to do with the water because there's water in KSP. Land a pod in a body of water on Kerbin. So we can actually get both of these at the same time. We're gonna get an object to orbit and then we should just land it in the water and that'll give us both of these. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we can buy. Solid field, these are gonna help with launches. So let's do that. Orbital rocketry. Yeah, we probably want this too for our thing. Struts are okay. Okay, we can already 
we're already almost to the moon landing. So this actually should be definitely possible. We need a rocket to orbit Kerbin and land in the water. That should not be too bad, honestly. We're gonna put a science thing here. So this whole thing should come back. I'm gonna put just a battery on here like that. Perfect, okay, this pod is perfect. Okay, Terrier is gonna be our orbital engine. So this is what's gonna, we're gonna use in orbit. Okay, this is our sustainer. This isn't a launch engine. This is our second engine. Then we just need our launch little section of this rocket, launcher engine. So the launcher engines are gonna push a lot more, but they're not as maneuverable or efficient. We'll do three boosters on the side. We definitely want stabilizers on those. Okay, I think the rocket is ready for our first real space flight. Okay, here we go. Bill Kerman is about to go to space, orbit Kerbin once. We're gonna do a full rotation, land in the water, give us a lot of science along the way. Let's do it. Launch, okay, launch looks good. We're gonna start going, oh, we might not, we might be going too fast. I'm gonna slow down our main engine. We kinda wanna tilt to the right towards, if you see the Mun is that way. So when we get in an orbit, eventually when we're actually going to the Mun, we can extend our orbit to reach the Mun. So we're gonna practice by just launching to the right like this. And I'm gonna use the Science Junior when we're in space. You can use them anywhere, but if it's like KSP-1, it'll get us a lot more science if we do it in space. Okay, those, good, break them off. Okay, that break off looked good. You can see the rocket is not wobbling. If this was before the update, it definitely would. What's our AP at? Okay, we want that above 70,000, so let's boost this up. Once this is about 80 to 100K, we're going to cut this engine. The rocket is surprisingly stable for zero struts or reaction wheels or anything. Okay, that engine's out, let's break it off. And then we can activate this engine, which is what its job is to do, is to get us into orbit. 80, okay, cut the engines. And I'm gonna use the science right now while we wait. Crew observations, can I do multiple at a time? I can, okay, environment sample, must be returned to KSC. Yeah, yeah, I need, how do I do the science experiment? Here we go, run environment survey. Experiment for that region already in storage. Did I already do it? Oh, it did it by itself, I think? Yeah, yeah, so it already did it. So we have the science for that. Okay, let's start accelerating again. And we're gonna want this to be pretty much perfectly flat, horizontal, relative to Kerbin. This blue line shows our trajectory, and you can see if we don't do anything, we're gonna fall to the planet. But if we keep accelerating, this line will keep growing and growing until it makes a whole circle around the planet. And that's how you know we're in orbit. When we wouldn't fall, we would just keep circling. So we're gonna push us into orbit now. And you can see it growing, growing, growing. No, we ran out of fuel. Good thing we have one last engine. This should get us the rest of the way. So it looks like I did not overkill this rocket. We need our PE to be above 70. What's this one at? 83, 60, 70. Okay, we did it. We are in orbit of Kerbin. So you can see we won the challenge, but we're gonna let it do a full orbit and we have to land in the water to complete that other challenge. So we're just gonna speed up time and we can kind of watch it go around. Here's our rocket. We can watch us go around the planet, actually. That is so cool. Okay, let's slow down time now. We made it one full orbit around Kerbin. We launched from the KSC, which is right here. So we didn't do quite do an entire orbit, but I think I'm gonna try to aim for this ocean right here. So we can actually add a maneuver plan and time it so we're gonna land perfectly in the ocean. We'll give us a little bit of room to slow down. We'll go right there. So this maneuver plan is going to give us a direction and a time to burn. We only have to burn for 21 seconds and it's going to use 263 Delta V, which is our fuel. And we have 1400, so we will definitely be fine on fuel. Let's warp to our maneuver. Three, two, one, burn. Okay, so we are burning and slowing down. You can see that here. We will stop the burn and that will align perfectly with where I aimed our trajectory. Two, one, cut engines. You can see it lines up almost perfectly. Now we just have to wait. Oh, it is, the heating is in the game. Look, we're burning up, that is so good. Good thing we put the heat shield on. I thought it wasn't in the game yet. Okay, well that was easy, a breeze, because we have our heat shield. Hopefully we hit the ocean. Oh no, oh no, we're slowing down too much. The the atmosphere hitting it slowed it down and I think we're going to hit these sand dunes now. We're gonna have to just hurry and launch a rocket right into the ocean to get that other one. That's okay. And touch down. Perfect. So
So we unfortunately did not get the buoyancy test. That's okay though. That's an easy one to get. 75 science for this though. There we go. 75 more science. Mun or bust. This is what we're going for today. This is the ultimate goal of this video. Maybe on the next launch because we have enough science to purchase this. The Mun landing. And okay, what else do we need? Probably this, we want RCS on our thing. Let's go lights and utilities. I'm gonna really quickly try to do the buoyancy test and just launch something into the ocean. Going swimming today, Bill. This way, to the ocean. Oh, open the parachute, open the parachute, open the parachute. <laughs> Bill. Okay, parachute seems to work now. And finally we landed in the water. 25 more. Power management, sure, we probably want that. We're gonna go construction and specialized decoupling. I don't need trust this, I don't think. Basic docking. Okay, that would be good for Apollo style. I think maybe I want that one. We're gonna do it and we're gonna do it right. If I just do exactly what I did with that other rocket and did a spa do a spacewalk, I will get 40 more science and I'll be able to dock, get a docking port and then I can do it Apollo style with two different things, which is way cooler. So we're gonna do that. I didn't save it, so let me build it really quick. Okay, I think this is how I had it. Hopefully this works the same way. Let's stage this up. To space we go for the second time. Bill, you're going again. Boom, okay, made it to orbit. Now we have to do a spacewalk. So here we are in space, holding on to our spaceship. Um, I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna let go and see what happens. Yeah, okay, we have a jetpack and we can move around. It's hard because whatever direction you start flying in, you will keep flying in that direction. Okay, we got it, board. Okay, and then all we gotta do is aim retrograde and burn until we are basically gonna crash into Kerbin, but we have a parachute, so we're gonna be okay. Burning up, but we have a heat shield, so we're fine. Okay, parachute's primed. Is it not gonna open? Why didn't the parachute open? Good thing I did a quick save, but like seriously, what happened? Okay, we did make it back. Oh, we're going fast. It broke my science junior. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, the science junior got destroyed. I think I need more than one parachute then if I'm using that. Okay, good to know. But we did get the space walking mission done. Thank you. Now we need basic docking. Okay, we're gonna use all of our science. Now we have everything we need to go to the MUN hopefully return let's do it we're doing a apollo style which means there is a command pod and a lander i'm gonna build the lander over here okay i think something like this because these are the all the legs okay i'm actually just gonna launch this lander and see how this does okay so it doesn't take off from Kerbin, but we don't need it to because the mun's gravity is so much less and it does look like it's hovering, so it is doing something, because that's definitely better than none. Okay, let's build the rocket. Okay, it's gonna look kind of weird, but there's only one docking port that I have. And it looks like that, but we're gonna do it anyway. This is also gonna look kind of weird, but I think I need those three parachutes. Those are all parachutes. We have 4,500 meters per second of fuel total. How much do we need to get to the MUN? 7,500 for landing and return. That's what we're going for. Here's the issue, we don't have enough good parts. Uh, we'll see, cause I think it's trying to account for slowing down on Kerbin, which we don't need to do. This is a, such a cursed rocket. Okay, we're gonna go for it with this then, this cursed thing, let me stage this up. I do not know how this launch is going to go. Okay, here we go. Look at all these engines we're about to, I just realized I didn't put any fins on, so this is gonna be the hardest rocket to control ever. We are going to try it though. I might have to put some fins and then retry this, but let's go. Okay, it barely does take off. That is good. The frames are dropping. You can see all these different rockets, but it does take off. That's good. Okay, we don't want it to start going too fast. I am gonna try to pan it over, but that does seem kind of hard. It is working. You can see it's starting to go over, but we don't want it to go too far or anything. Uh-oh, it's turning. I'm trying to reverse the turn. Throw them off, let's do it. Yes, okay, that worked. I didn't put any reaction wheels in it. This is gonna be the hardest thing ever. No, now it's going back. Oh no. Well, revert, revert, revert. Okay, um, I don't know why that happened. Okay, take off, good. Okay, and break off. 
If no, 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 don't, don't spin backwards. Don't spin backwards. Don't spin backwards. Please don't spin backwards. Too much in the atmosphere still. This is not working the way I would like it to. Oh, I didn't. Oh my. Okay, we're going straight up. This looks good so far. Okay. Oh, the rocket becomes so unstable at this stage. Maybe we need fins down here. Like that would put one on each of these boosters. And I think that's gonna be enough. Just that small change, I think will help this stability on this a lot. Okay, I think we're at attempt five. Let's do it though. I think having those fins will help the stability a lot after we break this first stage off. Okay, here's kind of the moment of truth because this is where everything fell apart last time. Okay, some of the fins got taken out, but did that, how did, um, it seems like they're still working. So I think we're going to continue like this. Definitely want some more power. Okay, everything actually looks good so far. Okay, I think this is going to work. Fins definitely help. Um, our apoapsis is already high enough that we're going to, we'll create a maneuver plan to get us an orbit so we can just kind of lock onto that. About right there should be good. Okay, so in 30 seconds, we're going to start our orbital burn and we will use the rest of this and we'll dip into this one, but that's what it's for. So we should be good still. Two, one, burn. Okay, we're burning. Oh, it's losing. Okay, okay. We're gonna preemptively actually stage and then continue the burn because that is such an unstable stage. This should be a lot more stable. Okay, we're gonna leave that behind. Goodbye. Okay, we're gonna have to eyeball it because we didn't do exactly what the stage wanted us to. We're gonna, it looks like we're gonna end up using all of this stage too. It takes a lot of fuel actually to get in orbit because you gotta be going really fast. Okay, next stage. Burn us to orbit. Yes. 970, perfect. Okay, we are in orbit of Kerbin. Let's save that. And the rocket is spinning. That's, stop spinning. Now we gotta go to the MUN. So, if we go, our, go to our map, what we're gonna do is create a maneuver plan where we accelerate enough to bring our orbit close to it. So you can see how that yellow line, that's where we're gonna go. Um, but we need it to actually get an encounter. So by moving it around, you can see when you're gonna encounter it. See right there, we had an encounter right here. If we do this, burn 876 Delta V, which we have a lot in this stage. We want to be, okay, let's focus on this. Pretty close to the month. That is pretty close. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. Once we get to this point, so here's our ship right now, and we are circling Kerbin. Once we get to this point, we're gonna boost our rocket in this red area, and that'll put us on course to go to here. And by the time we get there, the MUN will be there and we're gonna meet up with it. That's what should happen. Let's see what actually does happen. We're gonna warp to our transfer. Three, two, one, burn. And we're gonna burn for a minute and 15 seconds. And you can see our orbit growing, that's exciting. Three, two, one, cut. You can see blue is almost exactly lined up with the yellow. That means we did it right. Okay, so I had to adjust the orbit a little bit, but here's our current trajectory past the moon. Okay, so now we're just gonna wait, actually, I think, till we're in the moon sphere of influence, and then we will get into orbit of the moon. So speed up time, but we are now really close to the moon, actually. You can see it's right there. Um, and we're gonna create another maneuver plan at the closest point, and then we're slowing down till we get into orbit like this. Check that out. Perfect. Okay, that only burns 345, so we can still use this stage for it. Sounds good. Let's start getting ready for that. So basically, we're flying past the moon right now, and if we don't slow down, we are going to fly by it. But if we slow down, the moon will kind of capture us, and we will be in orbit of the moon. Two, one, burn. We're going to burn for 24 seconds. Two, one, cut. We're almost there. We are almost there. We are in orbit of the moon. Now we just have to land on it. The closer we are, the easier it's gonna be to dock after. So we're gonna get that PE all the way to there. Then I'm going to time warp to there and shrink the AP also. So if we slow down when we're at the closest point, that'll shrink this side of it like this. You'll, you can see that. And we're gonna use the rest of the fuel in this stage. So now we can break that off and open our lander section. So now we just have the command module and our lander, which is exactly what we want here. So it looks like I built it, even though we had limited parts, I still built it pretty well we gotta undock basically just go okay they're undocked we want control of this one so fred me herman is going to the surface while 
her low Kerman stays in orbit. And this is exactly what the real Apollo 11 and all the Apollo missions did. They had a command pod stay in orbit and a lander go down. So now let's open the landing legs and we are going to, all I really have to do is start slowing down. So we're gonna aim, we're gonna activate our engine and then we're gonna start slowing down. And you can see our trajectory here. We want this on the surface. It's gonna be easier to redock if I kind of stay in the same orbit. So I'm not gonna go up or down really at all. Hopefully we can get this first try. I'm just gonna start speeding up time. Oh, I still have 748 Delta V. Let's see if that's enough to land and come back. Um, we gotta, we gotta conserve fuel here. So we gotta do this right. We gotta have like over half after the landing. Full blast. Slow me down, please. It's not gonna happen. We're not gonna be able to retake off. We're gonna get this landing though. It's the last thing I do. Okay, let's see if we can land right in here. Oh, it's kind of at a slant. Let's see if this lands. <gasps> don't tip over, don't tip over, don't tip over. RCS, save me, save me. Yes, the RCS saved me. Okay, okay, we're landed, yes. Okay, we definitely don't have enough fuel to go home, but we did land on the MUN, which was the goal for today's video. If you want to see me save Fred me here, we can get out. Oh, that tipped the whole thing over. There's definitely, it's definitely not gonna be too bad to save her. We're just gonna need to get some fuel or get another lander here and we can redock that with the command pod. So if you wanna see that, leave a like on this video so I know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna see more KSP, let me know in the comments. For now, Fred Me's gonna be here on the MUN until you guys like the video, so go like the video. Subscribe if you haven't, join my Discord server. I'll see you guys in the next video.